fear or Halloween fright. At this costume store in Dallas, if it looks like it fends off Ebola, it's selling fast. Anything like that that's been just over and over you hear in the news, yeah, it becomes very popular. The demand for hazmat suits is mixed. Costume World in Dallas, where the first U.S. cases of Ebola were diagnosed, is sold out. Yet at this store near Washington, stock shelves. So far, we haven't had um, a huge interest uh, regarding Ebola costumes um, or Ebola-related costumes, potentially like a hazmat suit. Halloween costumes often take a page from pop culture, from that? celebrities to the not-so-nice. This year, the timing is raising questions. I personally don't mind. I think on Halloween, people just want to have a good time. I don't, I don't see any harm in that. Still in Dallas, not everyone's sold. It's very insensitive. I really don't think people are thinking about that. I don't think they're thinking about the families and the victims. A delicate line, balancing fun with a real threat. Alex Sands, the Associated Press, Dallas.